Line, Coast to Coast. Yeah. Yeah. My mic on? Hey. There we there go. There we go. Always on the game, Anderson. Hey, it's the Love Line. I'm Adam Carolla. That is uh, Dr. Drew over there. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Fax number 310-854-4455. Do we have any paper in that thing yet? No? All righty. Fantabulous. Par for the course here. Dr. Drew is a board-certified physician and addiction medicine specialist. Harlan Williams is our guest tonight. At least uh, in theory he is. I got the feeling he's going to be uh, rolling in here uh, any second now. Uh, Harlan Williams. He's a guy, well, you probably know the name and you definitely know the face, but you'd have to kind of put them together. Uh, Half-baked. He did that uh, Disney uh, movie, Rocket Man. Rocket ship, rocket head, monkey in space. I can't. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You must have caught that one I because did. of your kids. Yes, one with the kids. He was the astronaut. He was the lead in He's that. Canadian. Yeah. Okay. I've been. I did uh, some show with him. Charles something. In charge. Remember Charles Carroll uh, had that show. Oh, what the hell was? It? All right. Oh, that's a great reference. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rocket Man. Yeah. He was also you, a serial killing hitchhiker and something about Mary. Oh, yeah, something about Mary. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Anderson. You know we don't uh, rehearse before the show starts because uh, how uh, when Drew goes, oh, that guy, a Canadian guy. Yeah, we did a, uh, he was in a, uh, we, we did a uh, Charles. Uh, yeah, Charles. Remember, remember the guy had the talk show? They do satellite feeds from all over the place. No. He did it, too. Oh, yeah, but no. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Charles. Charles. With the hair piece guy. Isn't yes. That, that just shows you how, how long you've Charles been. Charles Boyer. Uh, on media. You're there and you're gone. That's it. No, I know. I know. No, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna get to his name in just one second. All right. I, I, I think I got a cold coming on, so I, I can feel my head inside my head. It's like I have a smaller head inside my outer head. <laughs> your Perusha. You know that feeling? Perusha. I got that tonight. Woke up from my nap. Never was right. Nice. Thank you. Didn't stop me from eating. Hmm. Nate. Charles, hey, Charles Groden. Groden. Groden, yeah. Nate, you're 21. What's up? Yeah, what's up? Hey, uh, I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller. Great. And I just want to say, Adam, it's like, it's like you're like one, exactly like all my buddies, and it's like one of us made good, so. Oh, well, thank you. I feel like I'm representing for the common idiot. Thanks. You really are. Dude. Thank you. All right. Uh, uh, by the way, I'm calling from the porn store, which I work, so if you're noises like that, that's why. Uh, do they let uh, guys whose voice is changing work behind the counter at the porn store? Uh, uh, could I uh, oh, offer you a uh, dildo or a uh, <coughs> butt, butt plug? <laughs> well, don't you have to sound older than 14 to work at a porn store? No? Dude, that's not funny. I'm sorry. Nate, what's the question? Yeah, I have uh, trouble reaching climax when I'm having sex with girls. Mm-hmm. And uh, how have you had a lot of sex yeah, with a lot of gals? Does that actually ever happen? <laughs> Sometimes during his coffee break when he's uh, testing out some of the new merchandise, he has difficulty. No, actually, I can get off on those, but... Really? That's the point. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have, since he spends a lot of time with his uh, miscellaneous merchandise. Well, he, he, I don't. I just I always hang out with my buddy that works here. and He's married to his work, Drew. <laughs> hey, have you had a long-term girlfriend? Actually, no, I haven't. No, there there's there the go. answer. Especially for guys and for girls, but especially for guys. You're 21. You're a couple years behind. You need that long-term girlfriend to kind of uh, bang out the sexual dance. Mm -hmm. I beg your pardon. How <laughs> dare you? You know what I'm saying? Drew, we've talked about this a few times. As a guy, it's important to have a little repetition. I mean, it's like this. Rhythm. Well, uh, what I mean groove, is... is okay. If you're um, if you're pinch hitting the whole season, you only get twenty five at bats. Yeah. You, you never cut. You, you have to come off cold. Five games yeah. go by. You don't get any playing time. Then yeah. they call you off the bench. You're not warm. You, you never find a rhythm. You have to get in the lineup. You yeah. got to find a team you can play for and get five hundred bats at bats for one season, and then you can start coming off the bench. Yeah. Yep. You can't come off the bench unless you've gotten a season or two under your belt. I'm with you. And for guys, sexually, you got to work it out. Yeah. And that's what Nate needs. I can hear it by his voice. But Nate? Yeah. What's the name of the porn store you work for? Video X. Nice. And uh, you sell vibrators? Yes, I do. Butt plugs? Mm-hmm. You standing behind the display counter now? 
Yes. Do you put the vibe? Do you put the uh, batteries in the vibrator and test I, them out? Actually, I heard about that, but I've never done that here. I heard you talking about that. You you just sell them straight away? Yeah, I sell them straight away. No, everybody should just go to that store. Then uh, they can uh, absent the humiliation. Spare themselves that uh, that very very painful ordeal of having them actually test the butt plug out for you. Yeah, let's face it, but you know how much more humiliation you actually experience than a walking to a store like that, b bringing the butt plug and the destroyer up to the counter. <laughs> Really? No. Is there more you can experience in terms of the humiliation at that Drew, point? I, you know, the most uncomfortable part, what we're talking about is when you buy a vibrator, and I've bought a handful in my day from porn stores, when you buy a vibrator, they put the batteries in and they fire it up right there. But you get my point, it's an, in an abstraction that sounds oh, horrible, but right. really, you're, you're hauling some crazy step at the yeah. counter in a store you're already humiliated. Yeah, it's not like your gym coach from the ninth grade, the Pope, and your mom are sitting there. You're in a porn store with people who either frequent porn stores or guys who work at porn stores. So they're they're not real judgmental. The guy's got a vest with semen on it, you know. I think you but need to the, take me the, into I've really never been into one of these you, places. You gotta go. Because I need like a pad and paper you, and you just notes. You buy the vibrator because they have to fire it up to make sure it works because obviously there's no returns. And there's that weird, uncomfortable beat where the guy's putting, you know, he's putting the batteries in, he's turning the thing, he gets the thing going, and he holds it in front of you, and you look at it, and you give him a kind of in a business-like uh, tone. Uh, that'll do. You know, or uh, yeah, thumbs up, or uh, that seems fine. <laughs> that'll do. Yeah, thank you. Steve, yeah, that'll go nicely in my ass. Thank you. Um, no, I'll wear it out. I don't uh, need that in a bag. No, thank you. Steve. It's an honor to talk to you, man. Eh? Thank you, Steve. You're 16. What's up? I, not much. I was just, I uh, had a couple of questions real quick. Um, first off, when you're in charge, is it going to be in the whole world or just the U.S.? So oh, I'm, I'm going to start with the United States, and uh, then once I'm in charge, I'll be in charge of the military, and we'll just take over the world. But bidets are going to become like everybody's going to have one, right? Well, they may not have a separate bidet, but they'll certainly have the toilet seat that shoots water at your ass that I have. Okay, because there's some countries that don't use toilet paper, and that bothers me. Well, that's what these are here for. Okay. We'll save half the old growth force with these babies. We'll yeah. no longer need to wipe I'd just like to thank you guys. I've been preaching your gospel at my school, and we got in drdrew.com book covers. Oh, great. Thanks, Steve. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, hang on to those. They're going to be worth something pretty soon. Yeah. But anyway, my question was, is I'm 16, and I'm starting to get like a little bald spot on the back of my head, and my hairline's going to hell. And I just wanted to know if like, I would be able to get any type of... Uh, drug like Rogaine or something that would work? Well, yeah, I mean, you're that really sort of an ideal situation for that. It's, it's yeah, pretty, it's going pretty, bald in the 10th grade, that's great. Oh, premature balding. and pro, you might be even, happier you might about that, talk, buddy. Talk to your doctor about something called Propecia, which uh, might even be a little more effective. But uh, yeah, I would talk to a dermatologist. The, the, there are things out there that can delay, if not prevent this from going further. How's your dad's hairline? Uh, his hairline's great. I'm very jealous of him. What about your mom's dad? I, my mom's dad, she was adopted, so we yeah. have no idea. Mom's dad, the, the cue ball, yeah. yeah. Mr. Yeah. Clean. Yeah. So, wait, um, Propecia is the one that makes you impotent, though. Huh? Well, yeah. theoretically, it could have that potential side effect, but yeah. it, 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 it really shouldn't. Because I, I think I might whack as much as Adam. It's well, maybe you could use a little uh, wind out of the sail in the form of a pill. Yeah. Yeah, just put that a little in your hair. Uh, put some of that in your hair like a nice pomade. Yeah, but the Rogaine's a great idea, Steve, and I definitely I would talk to dermatologists. And there, and there are other causes of hair loss, too. It ought to be ruled out. So. I mean, this, this all, you don't have to wait to go bald anymore, right? There's all kinds of stuff that doesn't necessarily right. grow hair, but it's going to stop You know, it's so stuff, bizarre, right? And, 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 you know, in the days when people were trying to come up with these things, everyone thought, oh, if you could come up with this, yeah, it'd be, the, it'd be, uh, be incredible. People would just be pounding the doors down to get this medicine, but now they have things that people aren't that interested in. Yeah, but they're not it's, it's, known it, as totally effective. Yeah, I think... The people know, are skeptical. Well, people want something like a Chia Pet. They want something to just sprout out fast. Yeah. They want uh, something like Elmer Fudd in the uh, Barber of mm -hmm. Seville. That's what they want. Mm -hmm. They want to just come sprouting out.